Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. October 14th, 2017. We got Jamel Charlo versus Erickson Lubin. I hope this is a good fight. I think it's going to be a really, really good fight. Uh, I think it's a potential fight of the year candidate. Uh, we got Erickson Lubin, who's taking a big step up fight here, and Jamel Charlo. Um, Jamel Charlo is the, I would say he's the, I would definitely rank Jamal Charlo uh, as a better fighter than Jamel, but Jamel Charlo's been looking pretty impressive as of late. Um, he's got a couple knockouts. Um, he knocked out Hadley, John Jackson, uh, TKO before that, but I think he switched his trainer, right? And he's been looking pretty impressive ever since. Uh, this is somewhat of a, well, I don't know. I don't want to call it a step-up fight for Jamel Charlo as well. But Erickson Lubin's a very dangerous fighter. Um, this is definitely the biggest name uh, that he's come across thus far. Uh, I think if Lubin tries to get Jamel Charlo out of there early, he could have some success. But, you know, if this fight wears on, I would definitely favor uh, Jamel over Lubin. Um, definitely because of his experience factor as well. Uh, you got to realize uh, Erickson Lubin, he's, what is he, 21? You know, he's a young guy. Uh, he's only got 18 fights. Uh, pretty good knockout ratio, though. He's got 13 knockouts. Uh, longer reach than Charlo. Uh, 74 and a half inches to Charlo's 73 inches. Um, let's see, what else can I say? Oh yeah, um, he's kind of towering over Lubin as well. 5'11 to Lubin's 5'9 and a half. But I'm telling you, Erickson Lubin is a very dangerous fighter. Um, it appears that Charlo's definitely taking this serious. Uh, he didn't really have much to say at the presser, but... You know, after the presser, he did he did kind of take some jabs at Lubin, though. He was like, well, what did he deserve? What did he do to deserve this fight with him for this championship? Um, and you can look at the guy's resume and you can be like, well, nothing. But at the end of the day, this dude is a killer, man. And I have to say this is probably a 50-50 fight. Uh, I'm not mad if you got Lubin winning this fight either, man, because he's very explosive. Um He's got a lot of tools in his arsenal to beat Jamel Charlo, man. But I think I'm going to ride with Jamel Charlo to win this fight. Uh, I think experience is going to be a huge key in this fight. I think it'll be somewhat similar to the Jamal Charlo um, J-Rock fight. I picked J-Rock to beat Jamal Charlo, but, you know, he got knocked out in the process. Uh, and that was the step-up fight for J-Rock as well. Um, I think I can... I'm kind of putting Lubin in the same um, light here. I think I don't think he's gonna perform at the same level, you know. And in fact, you know, the fight's in October, but I, I'm willing to bet he's gonna spend a lot of time in training camp getting some of that that weight off. Because if you look at the the presser, he looks kind of kind of big. You know what I'm saying? He looks kind of big. So I mean, you don't want to spend all that time in training camp losing weight, you know, to prepare for a fight like this, but. I mean, they both look like they're game for this fight. They both look like they're going to take this very serious. Jermell knows he better take this fight serious. Um, you don't want to take an L, dog. Trust me. Um, and as far as Erickson Lubin's concerned, this is really early in his career. Um, I wouldn't have been upset with him if he would have tried to take this fight a bit later in his career, uh, given his age. But, you know, he stepped up. He's a southpaw. Uh Another thing that could give Jamel some problems. But we'll see, man. I'm I'm really excited for this fight. It's good for boxing. Uh, October, what was that? October uh, 14th. So uh, next month, uh, a little over a month before we get that fight. Let me know who you got winning this fight. I'm riding with Jamel Charlo for now. Uh, I might have to go back and look at some film. Uh, both of these guys, but I just think Jamel Charlo's in his prime right now. Uh, he's looking like he's getting better. So I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see if Lubin can deal with, with Charlo, man, at this point in his career. 
Charlo's 27, he's 21. I just think Charlo's more polished at this point in his career. He's in his prime. You know, he's got a lot. Man, why, why do the Charlo brothers be looking so angry all the time? Like, why are they always so mad for no reason? And they always be tilting their head to the side. What's up with that, man? That's kind of weird, dude. Anyway, Hitman Boxing, let me know who you got winning this fight. Erickson Lubin or Jermel Charlo. I got Jermel Charlo winning this fight. Uh, late TKO for now. I'm going to go back and watch some footage, and I might change my mind later this month. But not too many people talking about this fight. Uh, it's a really good fight for boxing. Uh, like I said, a potential fight of the year candidate, in my opinion. But we will see. We will see if Lubin can get down and wait. We'll see if Charlo takes this shit serious. Hitman Boxing, like the video, subscribe. I'm out.